is dependent on everyone because being out in nature with only your dogs for transportation, you depend on them as much as they depend on you. It's considered typically a solo event. Stay. No one's gonna come to save you, so you've gotta know how to save yourself. When I was a consistent Iditarod top five team, my focus was getting there as fast as I can. And now my focus is getting there as fast as I can while teaching other people in the dogs and in the state and in the trail and the history. I'm Jeff King, four-time Iditarod champion from Denali Park, Alaska. I'm Johanna Vidalic, I'm 15 years old, and I'm a junior dog musher. And what was it like for the two of you, both summer and winter, just this year-round aspiration of being some of the top dog sledders around? They're normally up and running around because they think that they're going to go running. These dogs love running. I really want to feel like that one-on-one -on -one connection with the dogs, and I think the Iditarod would be a good place to do it. Joanna, you're kind of the pup of the team here, the little yeah. pup. I've loved dogs ever since I was really, really young. So this is the Husky Homestead, and you're the champion. Welcome. So you've got here an incredible place for off-season training, huh? We start, start here in Anchorage. This orange line represents the trail that we take to Nome each year. It's been there for over 100 years. Mushing is Physically, it's a dog pulling a sled, but emotionally, it's this connection between the dogs and the handlers. You need to know what's going on in their heads, and really, it's a lot like your one mind out on the trail. You're feeling for them, you are taking care of them. Everyone's dependent on everyone, because being out in nature with only your dogs for transportation, you depend on them as much as they depend on you. Good boy, Lucky! Good dog! They're normally up and running around because they think that they're going to go running. These dogs love running. They were bred to do it and they just adore it. In any conditions, summer, winter, it's year round for you. Mm -hmm. I know that the this life, it may sound all glorious and beautiful, but there's definitely some hard parts. When you're out on the trail, things can go wrong really easy. You've got to learn to deal with it on your own and it's, kind of makes you feel powerless, but also it gives you a sense of relief. You know that no one's gonna come to save you, so you've gotta know how to save yourself. Cody, put the ATV up ready to hook up, will ya? So we just start hugging up like normal? You can get thunder and... Come on, boy. Him behind swing. <laughs> Good boy. Are you ready? All right, Johanna. Hop on with me. And Jeff is like the Michael Jordan of dog mushing. And what have you learned from him? I know how to take care of the dogs, also how to be self-sufficient, and just how to have a good attitude on the trail. Yeah, what is it like to be with your hero now? I had to control my fangirlingness. And even now, it's, I try and do everything possible to make sure that Jeff is pleased with me. And I really, really enjoy being able to work with him. I love running with these dogs. What dogs? These ones. Oh. Yeah, there's a bunch of good ones here. I'm not trying to butter you up. We need to make sure and look for places that are wearing thin okay. so we don't get them lined up. It's flattering as hell to be able to feel like a hero to a young woman who is now grown up, you know, and now continuing to do extremely well with training and educationally, keeping up on her grades so that she can then come to us in the summertime. You know, she is one of the kinds of youth where you just want to help them because they want to work so hard and they have such a commitment. And what was it like for the two of you as you're riding around both summer and winter, just this year-round aspiration of being some of the top dog sledders around? It's really fun to share. You know, what's it worth if you're not sharing it? Not much. When I say G and they start to go, then you get off the brake. Okay. Lobo! And they might, we might take a couple of false starts till they go, and as soon as they do, then you follow them. I feel so grateful for having gotten good at something, to be able to share it 
what they don't know is they're helping me stay happy. Because I wouldn't be happy doing this if I couldn't share it. <laughs> hey. Drive gently. Not 10 in the water. Hey. I swear to Put your feet up here. Riley, leave her alone! Jeff's got four Iditarod championships. Do you someday wanna try to grab that? I wanna try my hardest. A lot of these mushers will talk about this sort of tranquil experience out on the trail and how they reach like a peaceful state of mind. I really wanna feel like that one-on-one -on -one connection with the dogs. And I think the Iditarod would be a good place to do it. Everyone here loves dogs. Everyone here cares about dogs. And basically, if you care about dogs and are willing to put in the work, you can come be here and come find a home in Machine and come find a home in dogs. We've got more in common. Thanks for watching. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.